Hello, all my fan collectors. This is a Hunter Zeppa Air fan. It has been fully cleaned and serviced and oiled, and the blade is balanced now, so it's a little bit quieter, guys. It's a lot quieter now. But as you can see, I've cleaned the badge. It's got that copper finish. It says Hunter Zeppa Air. So that's how it was when I got it. And this right here is the original plug, as you can see to it. Original cord and everything. This one has all of its original wiring, as you can see. It's the cloth wire, of course, which is in good condition. And underneath there, the capacitor and everything is in good condition. I didn't have to do anything to it. All I had to do was cut the bad end of the cord. That's pretty much it on the end right here. So I did that. Without further ado, let's turn this thing, beautiful thing on low. It does oscillate now, so there goes low. Pretty quiet now, so it's actually moving more air now. Let's turn this thing up to medium. medium. Of course it's blowing a ton of air. It sounds pretty quiet, but let's turn on the oscillate. Let's show you that. It works. It works really slow, but that's how it was designed. Let's crank up to high. As you can hear there, it's a lot quieter. It's moving away. It's, it's kicking out the air, too. So, Just to let y'all know, it is blowing some air now. It's a little bit better than before. Since the polish actually did work. You have to be really careful with this thing because it moves a ton of air. And as you can see, it's blowing some air. These right here, this is from like the 40s or something like that. This is made for like, it's still made in USA. It is made in Memphis, Tennessee. The tag is still on it and everything. Hunter badge. Very heavy blades. Let's turn off the oscillator. It has been greased. Let's do a spin down. It's got a good spin down on it. But I'm glad I got this fan for free. The guy was about to send this to the antique store, but he gave it to me for free because he was trying to get rid of it. But it actually works. However, I will be getting felt material for the bottom of the stand. I found it at Walmart, so I'm going to be buying it. This front bearing has been oiled and the back bearing has been oiled in the oil ports. So I had to push it in with a tiny screwdriver, just that little ball thing right there, just so I could fill it up with oil. And that's what I was able to do, and now it's got oil in. And I greased the oscillator gears, so... Obviously, as you can see, I polished the blades, so the blades are in good condition. Polish that. It's nice and smooth. Except for this, I gotta take care of that later. See, it's, it's balanced now. It's perfectly balanced. But, yeah, the startup noises, um, I don't know if we can do all that because, but, so the thing does shake a little bit, but not as much as it did before. But that's because the blade was bent when I first got it. That's how it was. We'll try to start up. Yeah. Of course, you heard a little bit of a startup. Not as much as the other Hunter fans I have, but other antiques I have. 
let it spin down with that long spin down it has. Start up a medium. does have a little bit of a startup. You don't really notice it, but this thing shakes a little bit, but not as bad as it did. It's much better now than what it was. I will say that. I'm just going to leave it. Let it spin down and we'll start up the high. Let's turn on high. Yeah, so yeah, this thing's got a good spin down. Of course, you can see it's in better condition where it was. But anyway, subscribe to me, Lamont, and subscribe to me. Like, share, and comment. I will see y'all later. God bless y'all, and out.